Join Kids Hat Family. What happened, Tofu? Tia, today in school, our teacher asked us to write something about the wolf. So why don't you write about it? But Tia, I don't know anything about how a wolf behaves. Come, let me tell you a story and then you would be able to figure out how it behaves. The Wolf and the Crane One day, a hungry wolf was eating his prey. So rapidly that a bone got stuck in his throat. He ran around the forest howling in pain. Please help me. I will reward handsomely. Anyone who removes the bone from my throat. A passing crane took pity on the wolf. Even though the task was dangerous, the lure of the prophet motivated him to help. So he decided to help him. I will help you, but you need to stay still. I'll look down your throat and then remove the bone. As promised, the crane did his job. Now give me my reward. Reward? What reward, you greedy fellow? You had your head in my throat and instead of eating you up, I let you go unharmed. That should be reward enough for you. Go away or I'll crush you. The crane walked away disappointed. Although he felt happy that he had helped in saving someone's life. So what did you understand from the story? That one cannot trust the cunnings of a wolf. Right Tofu. And now would you be able to write about the wolf? Yes Tia. Sam, come on over. Yes, give me a minute. Tia, why did you call him here? What do you mean? He's your friend and he just helped you win a ton of candy sticks. So what? I paid for the tickets for the games. That is very disrespectful, Tofu. You should be more thankful for the apples you get. Otherwise, you'll get the needles. Apples? Needles? What are you talking about, Tia? You'll know in a minute. The Needle Tree Once upon a time, there lived two brothers. The elder one was always mean to the younger one. 
he would eat his food steal his dessert and beat him one cold winter day the older brother went to the forest to gather firewood for the house When he gathered enough, he decided to go and sell it in the market instead. I'll sell these and get some money to buy my favorite pudding for myself. After he had sold the firewood and eaten his pudding, The older brother made his way back through the forest. On his way back, he hacked at the tree branches carelessly. Even though he had enough for home, he continued hacking for fun. Till he reached a golden tree. He was about to cut its branches too. When the tree spoke to him, "Please don't cut my branches." "Why not?" "If you don't cut my branches, I will give you golden apples." "Okay. Deal. Give me the apples." The tree gave the older brother some golden apples, but the boy was really disappointed. "What is this? Just these many apples?" Give me more apples or I will cut you down entirely. As he picked up his axe to cut down the tree's trunk, the tree poured hundreds of needles on the boy. The boy fell down on the floor. Unable to move. Crying with pain. Back home, the younger boy waited for his elder brother to come back. As it grew dark, the boy became worried and decided to go in search of him to the jungle. When he found him, He sat down beside him and lovingly and patiently took out each needle from his body. Don't worry brother, you will be fine soon. Thank you brother. And I am sorry. I have troubled you so much. I promise I will always take care of you and never ever harm you again. Noticing the true change in the older brother's voice and heart, the tree gave the boys enough apples to last them forever. You are right, dear. I am like the older brother. I was not being thankful to Sam for his help. Hey guys, thanks for waiting for me. Actually, thank you Sam for helping me win the games. Oh, thank you Tofu. Let's go. Hi Tia. Do you know what happened at school today? It was quite saddening though. What happened? You know how Barney keeps bullying everyone in school? Yes, everybody know how notorious he is. Well, yes. But today he did something nice and nobody believed that it was him. I couldn't understand why everyone behaved like that. I can imagine Sometimes if you have a bad reputation even the good you do is not believed
A hungry horse was looking for food outside the forest. Just then, a wolf came out of the jungle to talk to him. My friend, are you hungry? Yes, I am. There is a field of oats in the forest. I would be happy to tell you where it is. Is that true? Of course it is. You are my friend and I only want the best for you. Don't you believe me? You are a wolf. I believe you are only telling me about the field of oats because you don't eat oats. If you would eat oats, you'd never tell me about the field. And as much as the wolf tried to convince the horse of his good intention, he couldn't. So you see, Tofu, once you have a poor reputation, you try to do something good also, nobody believes you. Yes, Tia. Hence, we should always do good things. lost my phone and cannot reach my parents. Can you please help me make a call home? Yes, sure. I can take you to the theatre manager. He will have a phone. Thank you. Tia, what are you doing? We will miss the start of the movie. We don't even know this boy. You never know how important a glass of milk might be, Tofu. What? What are you talking about, Tia? What glass of milk? You'll know in a minute. Glass of milk. Once upon a time, there lived a young boy who was very poor. He did odd jobs to be able to buy his daily food and go to school. One day, after school, the boy was very hungry. I don't have money today and I have no job lined up till the night. How will I make it through the day? Maybe I should just have some water to fill my stomach. So the boy decided to ask one of the houses in the neighborhood for a glass of water. He knocked on the first door. A young girl opened the door. I am very thirsty. Can you please give me a glass of water? Yes. Wait a minute. The girl saw the boy's condition and understood how hungry he was. Instead of a glass of water, she brought him a glass of milk. The boy was surprised to see the milk. I cannot take this. I do not have any money to pay you for it. It's okay. You don't have to pay me for it. Oh, thank you very much. The boy drank the glass of milk and felt better immediately. He thanked her and went his way. Many years went by. One day, the girl who was now a woman fell very ill. She was taken to the hospital. The tests revealed that she had a rare kind of sickness that would need great care for many months. Dr. Philip was assigned to her case. Don't worry, we will take care of you. Thank you. As he had promised, Dr. Philip took great care of her. He visited her daily. 
stayed by her bedside at night and made sure she was always comfortable after 6 months of intensive treatment in the hospital the girl was finally well and could go home but she had a worry she called the nurse to her room i am healthy now but i am worried it is time for me to pay the hospital bill but i'm afraid i won't have enough money to do so oh you don't need to worry about it your bill has already been paid what by whom have a look yourself the girl was astonished the bill was cancelled across and in big bold letters it said paid in full years ago with a glass of milk it was signed by dr phillips the girl couldn't believe her luck dr phillips was the young boy she had helped many many years ago today he had become her savior and helper you never know how your one good deed can turn into another good one tofu so never hesitate from helping others thanks dia i will always remember this now for your favorite rhymes stories and more join kids hat family subscribe here